was a 3-0, but it was a really close 3-0 when we talked to Cosmos about it last night. I think they all went to last hit, basically, so easily could have gone either way. But we're going to get into Snake versus Inkling. Uh, PG Cosmos against uh, World's Best MVD? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. World's Best Gaming. World's Best Gaming, that's right. Yeah, and one thing is it's just crazy because both these players are so consistent in getting into the top eight, Woo. but only one of them's not even about to get ninth right now. That's how yeah. stacked... Gommel 2019 is. This tournament mm -hmm. is absolutely insane. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, we said it last night. All these top 16 matches, oh, some top 16 qualifying matches could have been top 8 matches very easily. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. And actually pushing him away from the grenade, but not quite enough. The up throw up air, not even going to do it at 144% here. MVD staying alive. I think, too, like a lot of people talk about, you know, complimenting a lot of different parts of MVD's gameplay. I think one of his best things is how he recovers from a pie. I think he's so tricky with the B reverse grenades. I think he's so good at Nikita placement and uh, with the C4 as well to cover himself. He's, he's a genius when he's up high up there. He's so tricky. Yep, exactly. Look at how he's facing all these different grenades. You know, Cosmos opened up so strong, but now Cosmos kind of fishing for the kill at this point and just MVD's not giving it to him and he's already taken 110 damage. Another roller not going to hit his mark and he's got to go through this explosive minefield to get to MVD again. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like classic Inkling, right? Like, we see him get the early percent combos, rack up a ton of damage, and then MVD, veteran player, knows how to fight against Inkling or knows how to, like, be Snake and, like, kind of take a ton of damage and be like, all right, whatever, I can tank this. It's no big deal. He's going to have to land either a roller, up smash forwards. He's got to land either a smasher or a roller or a back throw is going to do it from center stage. Very well done by Cosmos there. I think that had to have been, like, bad DI yeah. on a buffer grab. Because, you know, sometimes you'll catch people slipping on the DI if you yeah. just, like, insta-throw them after the grab. Yes. And I think that's what Cosmos actually caught MVD with right there because just center stage, I don't think Snake's dying with that. For mistake. sure. Yeah, sometimes the lack of pummeling, it doesn't let them DI properly. So what happens is it's, it's more effective than pummeling, actually, because DIing improperly is better than a couple percent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And just like that, because Cosmos was able to make that play, seal out that sock, we already see the strength of Inkling being able to rack up that damage. Already 77% on MVD. Okay, Splat Bomb covering his way back. Very smart by Cosmos. He's going to go with this back air, man. One of the, one of the best back airs, if not straight up the best back air in the game. Very oh, remnant yeah. of Cloud in, uh, in Smash 4, actually. Very safe on shield. You can actually combo into grab, too, at certain percentages. So Very nice job by MBD, though, tying it up in terms of stocks. Yeah, it, it's pretty much the backbone to this character's neutral. Yeah. Um, like you said, you, you get to combo it into like jab or grab and up throw up air. Even though MBD's trying to pull out a grenade, he got some percent, but up throw up air is going to be live on Snake for such a long time. Mm -hmm. A very big window on these heavies. Now, this matchup definitely seems like kind of kind of annoying one for Snake so far. I mean, the movement from Inkling is one of their best things, like you said. I like how you said backbone of neutral. Not only is it the back air, but the movement as well is so good, especially a character like Snake wants to create a lot of space from you, wants to safely pull grenades and, and feel safe in his own zone, and Inkling can break that down pretty pretty smoothly. Oh, yeah. It is explosion, but it's going to catch him slipping with that up tilt. And honestly, 96%. <laughs> It's kind of crazy because that's not that much on Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with low rage on right. uh, Cosmos. Oh, oh but okay. the roller should do it here. The forward smash. Yep. From center stage. That's going to be a wrap. Especially, it's crazy too because when the, the when you get hit by the roller, you get inked up too. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right. It adds it adds to the knockback and the damage they're going to be taking. So that is just crazy. And I love how Cosmos just walks smoothly to, to finish that one off. That's really veteran stuff. I actually got to, we hung out a lot actually this weekend. And watching him just practice inkling stuff, you can see how natural it is. Even in a high stress situation. Because if he messes up that, I know it's a pretty simple conversion. But messing that up, you get in your own head about it. Oh, you're it's like, a, oh, it's a man. tilter, man. Yes, exactly. You don't want to get tilted. <laughs> So I love watching him take the nice easy route, walking up slowly, forward smashing. Yeah, you would think like just staying composed as a competitor is one of the easier things. Uh, actually not. It's, uh, it's very yeah, difficult, no. you know, especially being up on the big stage, having the crowd, knowing that thousands of people are watching on Twitch as well. It, it can get really nerve-wracking, and I've seen so many players just destroy themselves through their just like their mentality or just getting tilted over little things. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but MVD has been so consistent in this game too. So like he's, yes. he's definitely a, a tough opponent. But that runoff forward air, what? Oh, dude, the recognition from Cosmos right there. That's a really early KO on Snake for sure, especially for Inkling. Yes, that is extremely early. And what an edge guard coming out from Cosmos. And that's probably where Snake is the weakest. You know, he does have yeah. um, double jump cypher and like things that are pretty good in the recovery. But you got to abuse him off stage, especially when he's in that lower position because he doesn't have as much mix-up as going high. Mm -hmm. When he goes high, he has the beer reverse grenades and stuff like that, and you can trade and stuff like that. But Inkling is such a natural counterpick to Snake because inking him up totally counters his camouflage. Think about that naturally as characters. Like, you yep. know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't mean that literally, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like had they actually fought, look at that, I can see you. Like, Snake <laughs> wants to be sneaky. He wants exactly. to hide, and he's just inking him up, man. You can see him from anywhere, but... 
Also, another thing that Cosmos has been doing really well in this matchup is navigating through this explosive minefield that MBD is so good at setting up. Here comes the grab. It's going to set up for the Nikita, of course. He's the Nikita master. Yeah, and one thing as well is one of the things that Snake, in terms of just like matchup Snake's wins really hard, it's because the character can't really deal with Nikita that well. Well, Inkling has one of the best recoveries yeah, in the game, no. so you really got to mix up the Inkling to get that Nikita. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my goodness, Cosmos waiting out that down smash. Yeah. Super, super smooth stuff. Good call out there, man. Cosmos playing incredibly well right now. Did you wake up early in practice? Uh, yeah, he got a little warming up. <laughs> no, but he did. Oh, oh my God. lord, three Docked. That was crazy. Co Cosmos, I kind of wanted to chill out a little longer, man, but all right, all right, all right. Who's talking to them right now? What is this? Dang, I thought he was looking at me. Why would you? Wait, yeah, he heard you. He heard you. Wait, but why would you talk to someone in between us? Anyway, Cosmos up 2-0 after a three stock on MVD's counter Yo, man, I did I not see next? that coming. I did not see you on the rotation. <laughs> Yo, man, uh, can I get next, man? <laughs> get in there, man. <laughs> Up in, up in there, Charles. You got this. But, dude, the thing is, like, I, you know, so MVD's counter pick, you kind of anticipate, you know, his town and city it makes a lot of sense. He wanted more space to work away from the inkling, but Cosmos just got in there, yeah. caused so much damage, it just destroyed him when he was off stage. Coupled. Wait! Wait! Did I just. Did hear? you? Yes, we heard correctly. Wow. Duck! Hunt! Get that on the thumbnail. <laughs> Are we serious right now? Oh, yeah, that's the thumbnail. For yeah. sure. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be Duck Hunt. Definitely a matchup that Cosmos was not preparing for. I mean, we saw him. MVD in uh, Smash 4 was looking for a snake replacement, and he, he tried with Duck Hunt. I mean, he's got the frame one can and blow it up. So this is this is kind of crazy. Yeah, it didn't quite hit home. But, yeah. uh, you know, he still has the Duck Hunt. And he, he actually... Um, Got pretty far with the duck hunt at the you know very first like really big tournament yeah. of Apex 2015. That's right. And I mean, duck hunt definitely is a better character in my opinion in this game. He has a lot more like hit confirmed and stuff like that. Okay. I wonder if he was ready. Like, if I go down two games, I'm gonna try the duck hunt. I wonder if that was a thing. I don't know though, man, because uh, like we said I, earlier, Cosmos he did get the 3-0 at full bloom. So I mean, I guess you gotta be prepared. Like, you know, it's a five-game set. You might as well try it out. I suppose see what happens for either future tournaments or hopefully win the set, run it back 3-0. With Duck Hunt, that'd be the craziest thing. Great spot dodge there. Yeah, I, I honestly like just knowing MVD and knowing how much faith he has in Snake. I, I doubt this was planned. I, I think okay. this is just sheer desperation. Okay, all right. Yeah, just because it's just like the the Snake did meh game one, and then game two is just he got three stock. Like, yeah, he got I know. Yeah, that was that bopped. was tough. But now, I mean, the Duck Hunt, it's coming to life a little bit right now. Great use of the Nair. Good defensive tool, actually, by Duck Hunt. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, man. Not a lot of people know this matchup. Not yeah. the most popular character. Everyone going to know the Snake matchup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, for sure, for sure. And that's the thing, too, is like, you know Cosmos, he was practicing his, his up throw up airs. He was not practicing them in Duck Hunt, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. but... Wow, uh, at least the gunman got the revenge it's, shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be more or less of the same like uh, pain points, though, for yes. MBD because, man, he's going to have to recover low. He's going to have to, like, the same, similar, maybe worse recovery situation, honestly, oh, with, with sure. Duck Hunt. Going high is not going to yeah. be a real option for Duck Hunt. He's going to have to get pretty creative with his low recoveries here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cosmo sitting at 150%. Um, Duck Hunt did get some confirmed stuff. And Can does kill a lot earlier now. I think uh, if a Can hits, it should kill. Because um, yeah. I know in Smash 4, killed like 180, 200. Now, I think it kills like about 20%-ish earlier. Um, and right now, but Cosmos is just doing such a good job of avoiding the can, avoiding these setups. Yeah. And off the top we go, off the can. Like you said, <laughs> off the can. You called it out, man. That was really nice. But, and the thing is like, okay, hold on. MBD trying to get some offense going with the can. He's going to take that right there, make his way back onto the stage, throwing out the gunman, but this is this is where the matchup is a real, real pain. Nice, oh, okay. okay. Using the directional air dodge, yeah. smart. That's good. Okay, yep, here's the, he, I know you can usually go into like, uh -oh. usually two discets, and then after that, yep. after the two clay pigeons, but just like that, off the top, MVD goes. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting, like, character duo. I know he loved Duck Hunt, you know, in Smash 4 and played him a lot. Nice lineup with the gunman. He got the good one, too. The fa yep. That's the fastest shooter right there, so he wanted that one, actually. He lined it up nice. Oh, uh, okay, uh, it gets further the more you yes, charge it, actually. So only, Cosmos is snoozing on that. The only smash attack in the game that gets increased range after charging it. And, yeah, I mean, there's that lack of uh, matchup experience yeah. right there coming in. And MVD definitely trying to use that to get at least one W here in this set to get momentum back on his side for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's what he's going for. Kind of the mix up, like, maybe Cosmos forgot about the directional air dodge out of up B, you know, that duck can right, kind right. of do that. So he's, he's kind of getting, the, he's, he's kind of tricking him a little bit, but is it going to be enough? It's not It's not looking great right now, Yeah. but he could definitely still do it. MVD, amazing, amazing player. He's been really clutch. And, and generally, Duck Hunt's strategy is you, you set up the gunman, you set up the can, and you force your opponent to come in through the air. That's when you start getting these, you know, 
jump call outs with the up airs. You can start sealing out stocks like that. Or get these clay pigeons, but I, 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 Cosmos has been doing such a good job of avoiding all of this, almost dying off the top. MVD just can't find this stock. Yeah, exactly, man. That was really well played by Cosmos. Not getting shook at all by having to face definitely an unfamiliar matchup, but right. like we said, the pain points were pretty similar going into like recovery.